What's up, Nail Geeks? And welcome back to this month's Fandom Flakies video. This time we have the theme Doctor Who, and I have a bit of a confession. I know I'm I'm just constantly saying I'm a nerd, and I really like ultra high fantasy sort of things. But I'm very sorry to say I <laughs> I've never gotten into the Doctor Who fandom, and I know I feel like some people are going to want to throw tomatoes at me for that. But um, to be fair, I have given it a shot, but uh, I, I didn't get past the first episode. And I know a lot of people are going to say like, you know, you just need to keep going. It is on the back burner. 100%. I, I, I don't deny the power that is this fandom because it is so popular that there's got to be something to it. So anyways, regardless, we have two beautiful polishes to check out. We've got some fun, smelly goods from Ribbits and Stickets you can add onto your box. And we're going to check out the swatches. Before I get to that part, um, I've had a couple of comments that have said that um, they're new to indie polish. They're new to my channel. And uh, so because of that, I think what I want to do is for each of the collabs, I'll do a little timestamp or what is said XYZ collab. And that way I can answer your question. Those of you who are around here for a hot minute, uh, feel free to use my, tam my timestamp to go to the, the first swatch. But if you knew around these parts, Phantom Flakies is a monthly collab featuring the maker Bees Knees Lacquer and Night Owl Lacquer. There is an option for a subscription to this box if you wanted to do that and not have to worry about you know, getting on and, and getting sh get, making sure you're, you've got your pre-order for the box. But um, it is through the Fandom Flakies website. I have all the information in the description box too. But every month, Sarah and Lindsay of Night Owl and BKL come together and they bring us all types of fandoms. We get two polishes and then Ribbits and Stickets is kind of our uh, inadvertent third maker, if you will. And they make all kinds of extra customized stuff. So the box itself includes the two full size polishes and you can fuller, further customize it with say water slide decal sheets, cuticle creams, um, there's car fresheners, all kinds of stuff. And it's always themed with whatever the two polishes are. It used to be we had a third maker, but this year we've kind of shift directions a little bit. And so it's just going to be the two polishes that are in the box itself. So with that said, without further ado, Let's dive right in. And first up, we've got Bees Knees Lacquer. This is Don't Blink 2.0, described as a clear base packed full of silver hollow flakes and aqua to blue to purple and black to red multi-chrome flakes. This is one of those beautiful rainbowy sort of flaky finishes. I love it. It's so good in the sunshine. Indoor lights, you'll see the shifts between the multi-chrome flakes going on here. They are of these smaller particle size or rather flaky size, I should say. So you'll get that tiny looking speckled shredded effect. I'm gonna suggest three light to normal coats to build this one up to nice plump opacity and a good glossy top coat. I didn't have any issues in terms of texture or thirstiness. This is pretty flat and semi gloss, if you will, and how it dries down, so no issues there. And Night Owl brings us Brilliant. This is a black tinted base filled with a rainbow of vibrant multi-chrome color shifting flakes, black metallic flakes, and hollow micro flakes. This is a beautiful complement to BKL's contribution this month. I think they go really well together as opposite sides of the same coin in terms of a black and a silver or white, if you will, with rainbow colorful effects to it. This is so pretty. It has a very smooth jelly-like formula to it, so I'm going to suggest three light to normal coats depending on how you tend to polish. I think two normal coats will absolutely give you full opacity, but I always say I like that thicker sort of appearance and I always want as much goodies on my nails as possible. No issues with texture or thirstiness on this one either, though I would suggest a thicker top coat as this one did have just the tiniest bit of a harsher dry down than say the BKL. And part of some of Ribbit's and Stickit's extra goodies for this month, we've got two sheets of water slide decals. You can grab these for 10 and adding onto your box. And just doing a really quick water slide decal tutorial, cut out the images that you want and there's no film or anything to peel back. Stick it directly in the water. I soak it in there for maybe 20 seconds. 
And I use a clear jelly stamper to help me with placement for where I'm going on the nail. This is just an extra step. You don't have to do this. You can stick it straight onto the nail from taking it out of the water, if that makes sense. Another extra step that I tend to do if you have a really busy base on your nail, like how I'm wearing the BKL here, or if you have a darker color, just add a little bit of white cream behind your image. You can also apply it straight to the nail and then stick your water slide decal on there and you're good to go. It's just an extra way that you can ensure that the image pops even better. And then we're gonna wrap this up with a mini will it topper segment. This is where I use a black swatch stick to demonstrate if polishes have versatility. So for the most part, the Night Owl and the BKL, both, if we're gonna get super technical here, have a jelly-like formula. So of course they work. I'm gonna suggest going in very, 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 very light and thin. Get any excess off on the brushes as these are quite dense and how much flaky goodness is packed in both of them. So the Doctor Who box is gonna go up for a pre-order starting April 12th at noon Eastern time. And it's gonna run until April 19th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. Those of you who are new to the box, typically the first 40-ish or so boxes are ready to ship. So if you get in right as the pre-order starts, you will probably get a pretty quick uh, shipping notification. Otherwise the box goes up for a two to three week pre-order turnaround time. Um, so regardless, they're outside of the, the ready to ship boxes. There's really not a reason to super rush unless you were very impatient. But uh, bring, going back to what I was saying in the beginning, Ribbits and Stickets is our third maker for the box. These are not included in the box per se. If you did a subscription uh, for the box itself, you do have the option of doing the extra add-ons too. So just wanted to throw that out there. It's very customizable. This month, Ribbits and Stickets is bringing us, we've got the water slide decals that we just went over. We've got hand and cuticle cream and we've got acetone additive. We've got a car freshener and we've got perfume oil. So uh, I'm gonna have behind me as I'm sniffing this, how you get the perfume oil to, uh, to to work, for lack of better words. This one's gonna go in my vehicle. Um, this is the, the zoomed out shot here for you know size reference, all that stuff. Um, it's really simple to use. You just open it up, you remove the seal, and it's almost like a reed sort of thing where the, the oil, when you tip it upside down, you only wanna do it for maybe five seconds. You'll see that the, the wood stuff on the top here will get saturated with the oil and then it's a car freshener essentially. And you can just tie it to your rear mirror or anything like that. Um, our new van has like 500 cup holders. It's fantastic. So it's probably gonna be stuck in one of those, but it smells really good. So this month's smell is in the scent Sonic screwdriver. And to me, it's almost like um, an orangey cream, like a soft, sweet orange, almost creamy sort of scent. I'm probably very wrong again. If you're new around here, every month I have started blind sniffing the scents for ribbits and stickets on the Phantom Flakies boxes. And I'm always so incredibly wrong. My nose is something else. But to me, I'm, I'm usually getting sweeter sort of scents. But this is definitely, it has a citrus note and then there's a touch of something kind of almost vanilla, kind of uh, toning it out, if you will. So let me read the official description here for the smell. Official scent is, I was correct, a blend of fresh squeezed orange juice, cranberry juice, and peach schnapps. So I'm thinking that peach is probably what's rounding out. First and foremost, it is definitely a citrus note at the top note. So very pleasant, very nice. And this is what the car freshener looks like. So you can add these onto your box if you wanted to. I will link you guys below to Fandom Flaky's website. If you wanna check that out ahead of time and take a look at maybe the subscription service, anything like that. And I'll also link you to the Facebook group where the first of the month, you'll see the banner change. So you'll get your little first sneak peek as to what the next month's fandom is and uh, swatches, all that good stuff. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.